Hey guys, my name is Bharat and welcome to Bharat in Germany. In this video, we are going to do a very solid breakdown of the blocked account money that you have at your disposal every single month. And there's a stupid way of spending that money and there's a smarter way of spending that money. And we are going to discuss the smarter way in this video. This is going to be a detailed breakdown, so the video could be longer. But if you stick till the end, you might be able to get some very nice tips, which is going to actually release your financial burden. Because I know as a student, when you are studying, finances could really weigh down on you and the blocked account money actually ensures that all right you don't have any kind of financial stress but still if you're saving some money then when you have to show the money in the current account or the blocked account for the next year then you just have to show lesser money because you've already saved up money previously so that's why now I'm going to take you to the screen, show you the breakdown, and then we will go from there. So when you come to Germany, you have to show the proof that you have 863 euros per month. And if you would calculate it, 863 times 12 is going to be somewhere around 10,356. So this is the amount that you have to show in your blocked account. And you can make a blocked account very easily by going to Expatrio and taking the value package. You can find all of the details for that in the description of this video. But otherwise, when you're coming, so it's your first month you're coming here i would always recommend that you're coming with 1000 euros like extra so 500 euros in cash and 500 euros in forex card because you never know what kind of like extra expenses come on your head that's why just make sure that you have them then afterwards when you're coming here make sure that you're taking a look at the secondhand stores the reason why i and alina have been able to buy a house so early at the age of 24 is just because we have been very crazy about savings we have been trying to save any kind of unnecessary expenditures and that's why we would also like go to the secondhand stores see the things which are reasonable that we can get and you can save a lot of money on that too the car that we bought was also secondhand my entire workspace previously was secondhand it did not hurt these things are still as good as new and you're actually saving the money for the times when you will really need it so that's why have no shame in it if you want to go to the secondhand stores do that i would highly recommend it otherwise you can also take a look at the ebay kleinanzeigen super schenken part so this is the website called ebay kleinanzeigen and here you can find things for free so maybe somebody is giving something out so all of these details you can find here then you can also take a look in your student dorms and sometimes some fellow students who are let's say moving out of the dormitory then they will leave some things behind and maybe you find some things interesting which are there written zu verschenken so you can get those things without any kind of costs whatsoever now let's do a breakdown so generally the semester contribution is around 300 euros per semester so the monthly breakdown is going to be 50 euros per month then rent is somewhere around 300 euros if you go towards the eastern side you can pay rent somewhere around 120 to 180 euros but when you come to the south it could be somewhere around 350 or 400 euros so it really depends then phone contract could be somewhere around eight euros i've also seen students who have like really managed to get some promotional offers and like bring it down even further to five euros and follow me on instagram there i put these kind of offers from time to time then health insurance is somewhere around 106 euros the food is around 100 euros i've also seen like people spending just like six euros 80 euros whatsoever but my tip with that is when you're in germany when you're a student your main focus should be actually studying that's why the lesser that you can worry about money the better it is for you so like if you want to cook some food or something on your own do that because that way you are going to save a lot more money always like no doubt about it whatsoever go to the supermarket buy some fresh vegetables get the spices from the indian store get the atta whatsoever make your own stuff eat like a king but you don't have to spend a lot of money to eat like a king so that is the difference there now the german radio and tv contribution a lot of students just like completely don't even know that something like this exists so in germany to keep the radio and tv running like you have to pay a contribution of 17 euros 50 cents per household that means if you have four or five students living in one single apartment then you can divide that cost so then the cost for the german radio and tv contribution becomes lesser for you if you will combine all of these costs you come up to a number of 581 euros and 50 cents no and then if you subtract that number from the blocked account money which is 863 euros you get 281 euros and 50 cents which you have saved for yourself it's completely aside that's what I say, like blocked account amount is actually very sufficient for you to live off from. Given that you actually care about your money. I definitely did. And this is also the reason that today I'm sitting in my own house and recording this video for you guys. That's why it is important that you get smarter with your finances. Because of course, everybody teaches you about studying in Germany, working in Germany, blah, blah, blah. But it is very important that you also know about the finances. Because once you're coming here, you're actually 
being subjected to a lot of adult problems now paying the taxes paying the bills and things like that and the sooner you plan for it the better you educate yourself the easier it will be for you now from the 281 euros and 50 cents you can either just like keep it in your current account but there you have the thing that you know of course inflation it's always like eating the money away your money has lesser and lesser value every single year and then also if you are having some kind of bank account which is charging you because that is the common norm in germany to keep your account running you have to pay the banks a fee so if you don't have any kind of student offer in your region and the bank is charging you something like that so then it's not that nice and it's better that you think about saving or investing some part of your money into the exchange traded funds or stocks or whatsoever my second channel brand device where i talk about business and finance so brand device is essentially my main business there i take care of advertisements for different kind of german companies you know on facebook youtube and so on so like i handle their marketing campaign but like on the youtube channel i talk about business and i talk about finance so there like you can have a lot of videos where you can see how you can start investing with very little amounts step by step there's another video which is going to be coming up soon so there you can learn more about the step by step investing part but here i would tell you if you're saving 25 euros aside every single month that means your end amount comes up to 256 euros and 50 cents now if you take a look at the effect of the compound interest let's say you're saving 25 euros every single month now so how does it look like if you're investing in the exchange traded fund called msci world it is a combination of 1601 different kind of large and medium cap companies and it has a historical growth rate of around like 7.89 percent so let's say like around eight percent in the last 10 years it was 10.2 percent and otherwise like from the very starting it is like around eight percent now so when you're putting it inside in a compound interest calculator you put 25 euros per month as your savings plan and then let's say you're saving the money for two years if you save the money for two years you're going to get an interest of around 46,56 on the money which you have put inside which is around 600 euros but let's say you're 24 now or let's say you're 25 now and you want to save this 25 euros till you're 65 that means when you increase this amount and you put it to 40 years then you will see how quickly the amount of compound interest increases so on 25 euros that you're putting inside every single month you actually have put inside only 12,000 euros whereas the compound interest that you get on it is around 70,000 euros that means just this 25 euros is going to bring you closer to 100,000 euros when you're 65 all on its own because the money is working for you in the stock markets i've also been a very avid investor so if you will take a look at the older videos on brand device you will see like how my portfolio grows from absolute zero to the amount it is right now now, but this was all because we were saving like crazy and everything that we were saving we were putting some of it to the side in case like you know things go bad and then we were putting some money into the stocks because it is very important that you do not throw all of your money into stocks too so it has to be a nice balance of everything nice balance of you spending less nice balance of you saving the money under the pillow i don't know or you saving the money in the current account and you saving the money in the stocks right so real estate and everything once you're done with your studies and you're having a job and then you want to buy some houses or something then there will be also like content for that on brand device till that time so this is how it looks like you know like definitely do not like underestimate the power of like 25 euros either and then also if you know about this video which i made regarding the american express payback card 11 euros on 100 euros is something that you can easily save that means a savings rate of around 11 percent with the payback system and with the american express payback card you also get a lot of payback coupons from time to time so you can also use that that means in total towards the end of the month every single month you can save up 267 euros and 50 cents so this is my breakdown of your blocked account money this is not less you will be able to finance yourself even without a part-time job just with the blocked account money now but if you start doing your part-time job of course it becomes easier for you to sustain yourself but you will still be fine you will still be able to study your normal study program without any kind of worries with the blocked account money that you have thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't yet downloaded the free pdf basic admission requirements for studying in germany do that the link is going to be in the description and check out brand device because there i'm going to be posting more videos related finance and business and also how you can start investing step by step into the stock market from germany because again these are some kind of details that people as expats don't really know and i'm going to just completely lay it out there for you so Again, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.